Hey everyone, I'm Silent Noise. In this video, we're going to be looking at five of my favorite video game intro cutscenes from the 90s. These games were selected from my personal experience, so make sure to leave a comment down below and tell me your favorite video game intro cutscene. Before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified for when I upload new videos. You wanna know what's going on? Let me tell you the story of Rayman! In Rayman's world, nature and people live together in peace. The great protoon provides and maintains the harmony and balance in the world. Sorry folks, this apparently can't last. One fateful day, the evil Mr. Dark steals the great protoon and defeats Batilla the fairy as she tries to protect it. The Electoons, who used to gravitate around it, lose their natural stability and scatter all over the world. Troublesome, isn't it? And untidy, too. In this now unbalanced world, strange phenomena begin to occur. Freaks and hostile characters appear, capturing every Electoon they can find. They definitely need a hero to save them now, don't you think? Rayman to the rescue! No problem. Go and free all of the Electoons, Rayman, and bring back the Great Protoon from its mysterious kidnapper. But will the bad guys let him do it? Captain Clark. Mm. 
Well, well, this is indeed a rare treat. Captain Nathaniel J. Claw. I'm sorry, but I must inform you that your ship is lost and your crew was left at them or uh, how I should say this, indisposed? You can't pull me up a rope. I'll have my vengeance! <laughs> oh, I doubt that. You see, you are a gift for the king and will be publicly executed upon our return. <laughs> Bringing scoundrels like yourself to justice makes the people feel safer and enforces the might of the Spanish Armada and the will of the king. We'll see. Indeed we shall. Oh, this is a very happy day for me, Claw. <laughs> I'm sure you will find your quarters at the prison most uncomfortable and the guards especially hostile. Oh, after all, we can't be too careful with our prize trophy now, can we? Take him away. This? I wonder how long this has been here. I am writing this with a quill and a piece of torn paper for my confessions for my Spanish captors and will then hide it in the wall. I will be executed in the morning for crimes against the king. The exact details as to why are not important. What is important is that whomever is reading this letter knows that the legendary Nine Lives amulet really exists. In a town on the other side of the nearby forest, I lost one of the gems for the amulet in a game in one of the taverns. It seems hopeless for me now, but if you, whoever you turn out to be, have more luck than I did and can get out of this godforsaken place, and are seeking the adventure of a lifetime, I encourage you to take the piece of the map that you should find with this letter and go and retrieve the first of the nine powerful gems of the Amulet of Nine Lives. It is an incomplete map, so you will need to find the rest of the pieces, and with that, the location of the rest of the gems. Good luck, and beware. Others now know of the amulet too. Edward to Ben. The Nine Lives amulet? I can't believe it. Could it be true? Hmm. Probably not, but just in case. That's it. I want you. Now I'm quite down myself. Huh? What? We've only gone out together three times, and already you're telling me you just want to be friends? You never gave me a chance, and for that... 
You'll fry like a pork sausage. Not that I don't like you, it's just that, well, you're too nice a guy, I guess. I think I'd rather go out with someone more but unpredictable. Hello. This doesn't look like the Lincoln Tunnel, Sam. Looks to me like a marginally volatile hostage situation, Max. Ooh, does this mean we get to kick some puffy white mad scientist butt? Can't think of a reason not to. You'll be of no use, freelance police. With the flip of a lever, my ungrateful lunch date will be reduced to a half cup of disoriented atomic matter. I knew he wasn't a real doctor. Uh, shall I confront, subdue, and pummel the suspected perpetrator, Sam? Sick him up, little buddy. Ooh! Ow! Hey, nice one. Yikes! Huh? He's not a real guy, Sam. Can I keep his head for a souvenir? Why do you suppose it's ticking? That's no head, Max. It's one damned ugly time bomb. Let's leave this criminal cesspool pronto. Good idea, Sam. Maybe we can ditch the head somewhere while the credits are running. Mind if I drive? Not if you don't mind me clawing at the dash and shrieking like a cheerleader. Sam, is pronto a real word? Goodbye, Sam and Max. I'll never forget all you've done here today. Well, that was a pleasantly understated credit sequence. I enjoyed the cheesy retro ambiance. What the hell are you talking about, Max?
Captain's log, Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. And my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I had thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. Oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Mm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. Oh, my sweet Elaine. Am I cursed to starve here on this ocean without seeing your face just one more time? Am I...
times do I have to tell you, LeChuck? I just don't feel that way about you. Elaine? By my congealed blood, you'll learn to love me. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. I, I can't. I'm washing my hair tonight. Blast me your hair, woman! Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? You know, I don't think my father would approve of me dating the undead. And you're probably too nice a zombie pirate for me anyway. Let's just be friends instead. It, LeChuck. You're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Darn your riddles, you saucy female! What do you mean? Ah! Oh! You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved, Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, uh, how romantic. Ship ahoy! Threepwood! Fish him out. Guybrush? Guybrush, Threepwood, by my gangrenous gut. I don't know how you escaped my carnival of the damned, but you won't escape the taste of my blood! <laughs> ah! Oh, the lass has spirit. Throw him in the hole, and I'll finish him after the battle. Turn loose the long boats! And prepare the flaming voodoo cannonball. So that was five of my favorite video game intro cutscenes from the 90s. If you have a favorite video game intro cutscene that wasn't mentioned, don't forget to leave a comment down below. If you have a suggestion for a future countdown list, make sure to put that in the comments as well. Don't forget to like the video and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you all in the next video and thanks for watching.